Greetings everyone, I am Sel Vallis, and welcome back to Crusader Kings 2, the House of Vallis. So, at the end of last episode, I had a uh, slight meltdown because I discovered our brother, the future of our house, is not only a homosexual, but is chaste. That's a big problem. Because we've married him to a genius wife in the hopes that their child would basically become the, uh, you know, the heir. So we have a big problem. Our wife is not the greatest in the world, but we literally were planning on this character would become, well, basically a warrior. So I switched him to War Focus, and then he would die childless, and my brother would inherit the throne. So I have... No choice but to abandon this plan. And yeah, so what am I going to do? I'm going to take concubines. I'm Germanic, so I can have three, I believe. Not truly married, but yeah, they will bear my legitimate children. So yeah, as far as our uh, land goes, only you actually have a chance of being a successful concubine. So... That's that. Now, on the other side, we had um, the Kingdom of Denmark likes us pretty good. So I think he might let us take a concubine. Now, we need someone of relatively good breeding age who's not chaste. Okay, here we go. She's a drunkard and possessed. And, oh, damn it, she's a homo. No, no, you. You are the good one. Oh, she's brawny. Oh. Oh. Is a close relative. Never mind. How about her? Still no. Ay, ay, ay. I gotta find me, like... What What about up here? Okay, could I take a concubine for you? Like, we need concubines, and we need younger concubines. There, we got it from her. That's still Denmark. Uh... What about our... Marshall, could I take a concubine from him? He has... Ugh, she's slow. No, we can't risk that. Who else? You're a Norse vassal. Oh, uh, I have to talk a little quieter for the next couple episodes. Just kind of the way it is rounded out. Oh, Ooh, she's strong. I will take her. All right, so there's three concubines. Hopefully, with the strong one, we will produce a legitimate heir. So, yeah. Now, I know this is really bad with, uh, I have accepted, I've decided, okay, so I've got my three concubines now, perfect, so now I will hopefully produce heirs, offense or defense, I always go defense, I always find the defensive traits are better, oh dear, we have had an uprising, Catholic rebels, I blame the priest. All right. Ooh, we can't quite put that down. I mean, we can, but... We're gonna have to call in the tribal vassals. Did it work? Oh, I see. Those are allies. Right, so, ooh. Oh, crap, our main force cannot, uh... Our main force is in deep doo-doo. So, yeah, basically, I'm trying to consolidate the armies. It, okay, it looks like they are coming to help. Who? What? They didn't want to hurt me. Oh, no, I'm growing paranoid. I'm going to become trusting instead, but... Oh, God, no, no, no. Turn down the speed. Turn down the speed. I am... Okay, who? What? Okay, so now... Now Denmark, who had helped us before against Jilland, is claiming... Bjornholm, the territory we accidentally inherited, so... At this point, all I can really say is, fine, let it be so. It's a small piece of land. I'm not going to miss it. 
So we can get back to the Irish rebels, basically. Like, I will let the King of Denmark win the war as soon as he's taken the entire war score. I'm not letting him get it for free. He has to earn it. Sending in my reinforcements, even though we're going to win the fight. All right, and that's that. So I win. And that means that I think I'm gaining a lot of gold. Nope. Well, that's the end of the Catholic Revolt. All right. Missed the armies. We're not going to fight off. Like, again, we're just going to let him... Yeah, we're going to let this fall. Uh, I don't remember if I finished speaking earlier, but... I have to, I'm trying to talk quieter just because it's really late at night right now. And I have company that's trying to sleep while I'm trying to record. Um, I would have recorded earlier today, but I spent most of today doing Ark Survival Evolved preparations. For my next episode, which will be me taking down the bosses. I bred and trained many Super Rexes and some Super Therys. And then tomorrow I have to finish up the Woolly Rhinos, and then I should have a force. Oh no, well, now what did I inherit? I got something from my marshal. It appears I inherited Dublin. Alright, I can, I can live with that. Alright, yeah, so we're just waiting on this to... Finish up. I am hoping I will romp a concubine soon and get a legitimate heir going because I can no longer depend on my brother. Here you go, Uncle. You can have that job. Oh, I've got tech. Sweet. Oh, what? Okay, yeah. So this is my stuff. So pretty much everything except. Uh... So if I did that, I can get cavalry, which I have none of, so I'm not going to invest in that. Yeah, so we'll come back again for uh, military tech soon enough. So I could get religious customs. All that does is boost my va temple vassal. So we're actually a little early for anything over here. Even then, I'm thinking either I will want legalism or tolerance. Probably legalism. Alright, so let's let these sieges finish. Oh no, great king, you've totally defeated us. I have no choice but to surrender. So I will lose some prestige, but honestly, 100 prestige is hardly anything. And then he'll get that chiefdom. And boom! No longer my problem! Now I can get back to focusing on more important battles, like, say, Kalaming Ulster. Now that would definitely be a case of conquer and not give, er, and give away, so... What do I have? One weak claim, barony of... What? Claim Richmond. So I could claim part of Northumberland, basically. Um, I don't think we're going to do that. Again, I think I'm going to take Ulster. So just want a little bit of realm peace just for the moment. Someone's trying to kill someone. Oh, crap, another one? Who is my damn seer? They are doing a terrible job. And Never mind, they're just really unlucky. Like, here, I'll look at... Yeah, and Thormund. So he's proselytizing, so there's a... There's a really low chance that he'll succeed, actually. Damn. Um... Okay, uh, control to not raise where the enemy is. Then this prevents anyone from getting murdered. Merge. Right, need to slow down. 
I think times four is fine for this. Where are all my allies? Yeah, I don't think I got as many allied troops this time. Okay, so we'll be able to crush them here, but again, it's very, very annoying with this whole rebellion thing. I mean, it's triggered twice in the same area. And we win, and we lose, and I gain that prestige I lost back. Everyone go home. What can I do to... You know what? Where's my marshal? Suppress revolts. There we go. So that ought to prevent any more revolts from going on. I've gained one passive marshal, which means my overall armies are going to go up in number. Which is nice, because my marshal was pretty terrible before. Uh, again, I'm still... I'm, I'm a slow character. This is really bad, but I just got to kind of make do. Alright, so... Again, trying to let my forces build back up a little bit so I can go take Ulster. Let my my vassals re, uh, replenish. Uh, I could build a war camp here, which is the light infantry, but they've been decimated, so I don't really want to do that, so I'll build one here instead. Ossery is another one of my lands. And there goes that really good court chaplain. Crap! Thankfully, I still have a decent court chaplain. So, I'm going to send you to... You know, since we are trying to, uh... Since we are going to go after Ulster, a religious army would not hurt. What can we do? We could hold the Great Blot. I think we're still trying to technically make up a, uh... Like, that's my ambition, right? Build a really nice war chest. Okay, yeah, so I need four, 700, so actually raiding is probably the best thing I can do right now. What is my fleet situation? 14, so I can take everybody. Got it. Um, let's raise... Let's raise all fleets, which are all in this county. And then... Because you have your shipbuilder, right? Yeah. I could directly upgrade here, but I trust the locals to handle that. All right, so we've got that, so I'm going to raise my forces. Which, okay, this is slightly risky what I'm doing. If I get wiped out somehow, then I don't have my main army, and I'm completely at the mercy of mercenaries or tribal armies, which, thankfully, I can afford. Oh, good. No, 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 we're going to definitely accept that that's me. Praise Odin tells me that effort increased religious fever among a small army. Well, <sighs> shit. Okay, never mind. War first. Alright, uh, disband the unit. Man, that is not a lot. Maybe we should go after Kildare. Does he have any pacts? They're married. Non-aggressions, no defensives. Still, the King of Scotland. Sheesh. Yeah, I know you hate me. So let's just say, hypothetically, I go to war with him. I want to just... Uh... I could claim Ormond back for my Uncle Naramond. But then... Never mind. Alright, Ulster it might be, because he's getting allies. Alright, so let's say we conquer Ulster. No one's helping him. Got it. So yeah, we're going to Woolworth Ulster. Not going to call in the allies this time. We don't need to. This should be a pretty straightforward conquest. So, uh, Solomon is going to claim, press a claim. Well, good luck with that. Have fun, you psycho bastard. I hope the claim was an oldster. All right, so somebody's fighting them. Uh, 
Okay, looks like the locals rose up. The duchy army is fine. Yes, concubine number two is pregnant. Now, what's going to happen is as soon as I have a legitimate son, I'm going to just drop the concubine. Oh my, I need commanders again. Why do I always lose commanders? Main, minor titles. Commanders. Yo, who's good? You good. My cousin... Bell Jr.-ish. Ludicio, my brother. Alright, bro, we got this, right? Totally, totally. I am using one of the other commanders for something. Got it. Um. Well, who's next? You are available. Good. Let's go! Times four speed seems to be working just fine. And we crushed their right flank. All right. That went pretty well. Let's, uh... I get. I bet they're going to kill Dare. Uh, the Prince of Decadence, the ruling dynasty of those who have been overthrown by the zealous and hard, drives into the hill and his former vassals may seize the opportunity to declare de independence. So, in short, the uh, Muslim Empire in the south, which, you know, is uh, <laughs> pretty big, has fractured into pieces. I think everybody and their mother is declaring independence right now. So that's a really good sign for us, because that means if this holds, we'll go back down there eventually. And OK, yeah, I totally missed that. You're shattered retreating to Ormond. No, you're retreating all the way over. Wow. OK, that's one heck of a retreat. Are we gaining or losing money right now? We are losing uh, one. Ducat, I think these are called, a month. So that's not bad at all. We can keep this war going pretty much indefinitely. Let's go smack them around again. Again, the extra war score never hurts. All right, I have a daughter. Um, I am going to name this daughter after my number one fan right now because she's the only person who has been requesting more CK2. So now we have Aeon the daughter. Uh, sorry, <laughs> Aeon Moon's daughter, and she is a child of a concubine, but she hasn't, um, what do you call it? I'm going to make her a real good diplomat. She didn't pick up any of the negative traits, which was what I was hoping to avoid happen, and it didn't happen, so I'm happy. All right, and the Shia have risen. Okay, another religious fight. Again, just basically the Muslim world is... Collapsing in on itself a little bit. All right, so they are now stuck. Oh, thank God. I have a new heir. All right. Biros, or is it Bioris? Biaros. Bi this looks more Viking. I can never remember how to spell. It's short. That's a shorthand for another Warcraft character. All right, my. My bastard son, you are slow. Okay, gonna keep needing more kids. Alright, so we're just gonna keep going with this siege. We do not have the 10 to 1 rule at all. And I suspect, yeah, they're coming down around the south now, but they've suffered some attrition due to... Are they coming to break the siege? Nope, they want to siege Oriel for some reason. Damn it! Well, I guess I should have declared a holy war? You know, okay, in that case, uh... Eh. Yeah, you just improve religious relations with them so they give me more troops. No more holy warriors. That's not going to be an option, I don't think, until under feudalism. Even then, i got to watch out for crusades if I get too powerful. Yay, another concubine baby. Now give me someone who's not slow. That is, like, the worst possible trait. I have to say, and my use, well, not useless, but my brother doesn't have any kids, or he probably never will. He's been wounded, too. He's gonna frickin' die. She was wasted. I swear, if he, if she becomes available, like, if he dies, I am making a concubine out of my 
sister-in-law. That's just kind of the that's the kind of stuff you have to do in this game. All right, and we are going to enforce the demands to end this turn or this episode. <laughs> Not playing a turn-based game, so I'll give away the. I'll give away the land off camera. I'd like to thank you all for watching. I hope you have enjoyed the video. Once again, I am Selvalis, and this is the House Valis series for Crusader Kings 2, part of my Paradox Mega Campaign. If you would like to see more of Crusader Kings 2, there is an official playlist, and there should be more videos off to your right. Thank you all for watching. Farewell.